Well, hello, Shelly Rocks here. This is a quick little look at a new game that's come out called This Is The President. This is by a developer called Super Pack, and in this game, it's a story-driven management game set in 2020, and I'm elected to be the President of the United States of America. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this, because how, how hard can it be? It's not that hard, is it? Okay, so we've got a new game. Uh, so we've got easy, normal, challenging, or hard. So let's... What should we choose? Let's just do normal. Middle of the road normal. Okay, we go. Rules are not necessarily... Okay. I cannot speed read that fast. So I think we are coming from a bit of um, a dodgy background. Hey, from a crime uh, background. How much time do I have left? Sir, I was ordered not to speak to you. Okay, not so, some lobster. <clears throat> I'm not asking you to die in a gunfight. I just want to know how much time I have left. That is a lot of lobster. <laughs> I'll never finish all this in ten minutes. Think you could help? So this is the last meal, maybe? Is it fair that your fellows are in the cafeteria right now, devouring their meatballs while you're stuck here staring at me? Come on, have some lobster. I won't, I'm, I'm sure I'm not going to escape. You were ordered not to talk to me, but they didn't say anything about lobster, right? <clears throat> you know, sit yourself down right there. You can eat in silence. Otherwise, I'll just have to throw half of it out. Come on, don't don't fall for it. If anyone found out, I'd be fired. Don't worry. I don't give up, my friends. Unlike some people. Come on, take the lobster. What's the worst that could happen? Your name is Bob, I gather. I haven't seen you here before. You were a rookie. He's and enjoying the lobster. Sixteen-year-olds as guards. I'm twenty. Ah, twenty. Sorry. Mysterious age, isn't it? You can't legally buy yourself a beer after you've had a tough shift, but you can elect the president. I, I don't drink, sir. Half my family are drunks. I know how dangerous it is. Oh, alcohol is dangerous. But isn't the right to vote even more dangerous? If you were drinking like a fool, you'd only be harming yourself. But if you're voting like a fool... <laughs> we're running a press campaign here or something. I'm not voting like a fool. I voted for a man who would send all the shameless, corrupt officials to jail. Hmm. Well, one of those shameless, corrupt officials is now kindly treating you to lobster. Delicious, isn't it? <coughs> isn't it? <coughs> sir, sir, I, I, I didn't know, sir. I, I, I don't have anything against. Oh, you Susie, I could judge sir. or something, I, or I, I'm just glad the new president will finally fix the constitution. That's all. You do know that the president can't change the constitution, right? Well, why can't he? He's president. President, yes, not, not king. king. But presidents can sign decrees and all that. Only Congress can propose and pass amendments. If you don't believe me, just Google it. Huh. Can't the president do whatever he wants? Why do we need presidents at all, then? Aunt, Aunt Ruta explained everything to me. She's watching this guy. <laughs> He's off in a world of his own. Oh. Huh. You were right. If it's any consolation, son, you and your Aunt Ruth weren't the only people fooled by our new president. I myself once trusted him. Look where it got me. This Come is on. a man who has I'm always break abused you out. the trust of his friends. And now he has abused the trust of millions of Americans. People just like you. So I really did vote like a fool, sir. There's no mistake that cannot be corrected, Bob. Not in this country. We'll fix, fix it. You and me to... together. What? How? I can stop him. I know his weak points. I just need to get oh. out of here as quickly as possible. How am I going to help him get can out there? help me? You're not planning an escape, <laughs> are you, sir? No, 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 no. What are you saying? I have a great many friends who will help me walk right out through the front door, all perfectly legal. So what are we going to do, just then? It's I'm a little cut off from the world right now, you see it. Cell phone, maybe? You could just bring me a phone. Yeah. Set everything in place from right here in this cell. M my phone? Not yours, of course. We wouldn't want to risk that. Any other one. A burner. I've what watched TV shows. Bob, when they find out that you helped me, you'll get an award. You're an observant guy. You can see what's going on. This is a matter of national security. Where is he going to get a phone from, then?
Sir, I... He, he might not be an honest man, but he's still the president, right? Oh, no, don't the fall for it. The most powerful man in the world. Isn't that what they say? Isn't it just too dangerous to go against him? Now, don't you trouble yourself about that, Bob. My ten minutes are up. The president has a much longer term waiting for him. Okay, intriguing. Intriguing. So we're trying to get out of prison and become the president. So this is the vice president, Antonio Estaba. My friends, today we have shown that the American dream is still alive. I'm the son of an immigrant who rose to become vice president. I'm living proof. We've shown the soulless, co soulless corporations and Washington crooks don't get to decide things. The people of the United States have spoken. I'm proud of you, America, and I'm proud of our new commander-in-chief. Who's the president then? Mr. President-elect. Now, being from the UK, I know nothing about the hierarchy in the uh, US uh, government, so... I'm assuming there's the president, and then below that there's a vice president. But who's the president-elect? Is the president-elect the president? Is that just a different way of saying it? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Look at the, look at the crowd! Look at the faces! <laughs> okay, let's see. Right, now what would, what would I lead with? My fellow Americans. We'll go with that. Uh, I can't believe we won. <laughs> this victory is your victory. That sounds like something a politician would say. Um, ooh, what do we want? What's good here? The ruling class have nearly turned our country into a prison. The authorities of our... Oh, yes, yes, this one sounds a good one. Divided country. My victory is pleased we're all on the same side, or I will be the president for... Oh, I like both of them. My victory proves that we the people are all on the same side sounds a bit better, doesn't it? Yes. Now, does that mean I chose one of these answers wrong then? Uh, this time has come to take our country back. That sounds like something that would be said. Uh, during my term, Amendment 20... To See, what is that? That could be the right for... Um, Every five-year-old must join the uh, Navy or uh, everyone must get free burgers. Oh, let's, let's go for this one. This sounds like a, a thing someone would say. I'll achieve more than others didn't eat. Be careful your promises if you don't keep... Oh, okay, maybe I shouldn't have chose that. Um... So, I will sign a truly progressive first executive order. I will donate a million to charity or I'll appoint a black chief of staff. Surely that one's going to be easy to do. A million, million to charity. Sure, we've got massive budgets. Um, what else? I will trans... I will sign... Oh, so I've got to agree to more than one thing. Okay, let's say I'll, we'll have a black chief of staff. A million dollars. Seems to be the same answers. And I, I'll try and a truly progressive first executive order. Okay. How many things do we have to agree to? Right. I'm not going to make any more promises. That's going to do for the promises. Uh, I want to thank the new vice president. I want to thank my new first lady. Or I want to thank the entire staff. Ooh. Let's, let's thank my wife. Ooh. That didn't sound like a good sound. Today, America chose her too. Does that sound good? Sounds good to me. And I want to thank the new vice president. It was he who convinced me to run. Yes. And that's it for today. That is it. Tomorrow we will wake up in a new America, or do end up with God bless United States of America. God bless United States of America, I think. That's a good, uh, that's a good little speech I've just done. Right, let's see. Your approval rating goes up when you're saying do things in public, so we've got a bit of a bump for that. Said some things right, apparently. 
So apparently uh, I sensed the hopes and dreams of America and indulged them, although in his speech the word I sounded much more often than the word we. Ooh, the cracks are already beginning to flow up for to appear. So after the speech, man, you're so irresistible. That speech almost brought tears to my eyes. Finally, we'll kick the crooks out of the White House. Okay, the days are numbered. Three months, three months, and we'll have our revenge. Ooh, Tony, we didn't run this campaign so we could get revenge. We did it to amend the Constitution. I know, revenge isn't the best motivation, Tony. Man, what's wrong with you? You didn't say a bad word about facing your speech. Who's that? Is that the guy in prison? Remember, the people don't care what motivation is as long as we're making their lives better. It's time to prove those aren't just empty words. Just got word from the headquarters. We all have urgent business. Okay. Let's get some champagne down our necks and apparently. Nice. I do look very happy. So what a shame, buddy. The, the, the bottle of champagne is gone. Oh, okay. Champagne is gone. So what is Amendment 28 then? That's what you're all wondering. Tony certainly has his head in the clouds. I, I say let him soar. So as long as we don't get carried off ourselves. Um, to take care of ordinary people. Ordinary people. Ha, I'm married to a crusader. Okay. Give her the rest. There aren't any journalists here. Okay, fine. I'm going to try and save my own skin. I hope so. Once your turn comes to an end. The crime... Oh... There you go. So that's why we're doing it. If at the end of four years we haven't gotten your lifelong immunity, we're dead. Okay. So what are we going to do with Tony? Nothing. Tony's a great guy. He stands for everything that's good against everything that's bad. Right. He's not going to like our amendment. He already loves it. I explained to him that without an amendment that guarantees our immunity, we'll never beat the establishment crooks. Ooh, what's, uh, right, let's see, what's our next plan then? It's complicated, I'd say I'd explain it as many times as necessary. Okay, what's the plan then? Sounds like the wife is running the country and not me. <laughs> Amendment 28 will enshrine your lifelong immunity in the Constitution. They won't be able to open a case against you. No one can arrest you. You'll be beyond the reach of the police, the FBI, the NSA, even God Almighty. First, we need to get the amendment before Congress. To do that, we'll need powerful allies. Right, do we have supporters there? Of course we do, but without extra incentive, even our allies couldn't push the amendment. I've taken care of it. I found a lobbyist who, for a modest one-time investment, will bring us together with influential congressmen. Right, how much is modest? I've got, I need a million. Seven million? Okay. Uh, our lobbyist name is Noah. He has a lot of connection in the capital. When he puts his back into it, he can push any policy through. Remember the recent sweeping tax cost for the wealthy? Okay. Um, we don't have much choice. Let's go for that one. No one can do it better than Noah. I'd rather we had a choice, but we have to work with what we have. Okay, what's next then? No will introduce us to a congressman. However, he himself won't be negotiating. That part is up to us. Oh, now we have to gain support of two-thirds of the Congress. Okay, that sounds like a lot. The Founding Fathers weren't fools. They protected the Constitution from people like us. <laughs> Our party currently dominates both chambers. It still falls short. So what are we going to do? Uh... Stuffing several baskets at once, including baskets in the other party. So once Congress is on our side, we'll add the amendment to the Constitution right away. No, that brings us to the most difficult part of the plan. A minimum of 38 states must pass the amendment. What? Isn't there like 52 states in America or 51? Something like that, isn't there? There are certain states that are always going to be hostile towards you. The whole system is against you. So we have to think tactically. Instead of trying to win over the local elite, you have to enlist the support of the people. So how exactly are the people going to support us? Just like they did today, they'll vote, except the voting for the amendment can be organised without electors. Okay. 
So it sounds like we're going to do all shenanigans and trick them into it. We've got to remove, so we've got to remove some judges. Once appointed, Supreme Court judges serve lifetime. To get one off the bench will be a major operation. What oh, we are, we are doing some proper sneaky stuff. How long did prohibition last? Thirteen years. You don't want to lose your immunity and go to jail for your retirement. Oh God! According to calculations, you need a ninety percent approval rate. Okay, so it looks like we've got a lot to be a uh, lot to be getting on with. Sounds like a pretty good plan then. Sound doesn't sound easy, but we can handle it. And besides, there's no way back. Let's go to work, my dear president. Let's go to work. Okay, so it's like a choose-your-own-adventure political game, and here is Noah, a modest fee of seven million dollars. Okay, I've got to pay him seven million, and I've currently got two. Right, new events. First order of business, negotiating position. Right, you may get distracted by the country's problems. Remember, your main goal is to pass Amendment 28. If you forget what you need to do, open the goals tab. Okay. So I've got four years to complete all of this. <laughs> I'm going to make seven million. Darling, I understand the, the uh, passing an amendment to, is a bureaucratic nightmare. If you ever forget when he's... Uh, okay, yeah, you've told me that already. Politicians need to forget their... Tend to forget their promises. If you need help, click on the promises. Yeah, because we have got quite a few, haven't we? Four months to do all of these. Ah. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's show people we're different. Try to fulfil the promises made in my initial speech. The cards in the left column are events you can engage with. Some events aren't available until you fulfil conditions. Okay. This looks like this is going to be pretty interesting then, but... Before we get into the meat and bones of the game, you've seen the basics of what the game's going to be like. It is like a choose-your-own-adventure political game. You can choose right things, you can choose wrong things. Definitely seems interesting. Anyway, that's all I'm going to show you for now. So if you want to see this into a series, leave a comment on the video and let me know you want it to continue to see Shirls Presidente, or Shirls the President even. Uh, yeah, looks, looks pretty good. Looks like it's going to be pretty hard to do, though. So that's certainly for sure. Anyway, if you did enjoy watching this, don't forget to leave a little uh, thumbs up on the video, ring a ding -a bell at the bottom, and drop me a sub. Thank you for watching. I'm Shirley Rocks, and this has been First Look At This Is The President. See you next time.